In this video, we continue discussing shortest path algorithms, and we're still looking at all pairs shortest paths. The previous two videos looked at a pseudo matrix multiplication. In this video, we're going to talk about a better algorithm, and that is the Floyd Warshall algorithm. This is a dynamic programming algorithm, and the what it is extending on in each step is you start off once again we can picture your original graph w as the shortest path if you are going directly from or if you're only allowed to take one step what floyd warshall does is it allows you to have different vertices as intermediates okay, so we're going to start with just what you can do in one step and then we're going to ask the question okay well how could we do better if I were allowed to go through some other vertex. Uh, so, and this will be the K index here. So what if I was allowed to go through vertex one on, the, on my path? And then what if I was allowed to extend that and go through vertex two on my path and then extend that with to go through vertex three? And it's, it's utilizing the previous data because each time it builds off of what you could have done where you only went through the previous vertices. And so you'll see that we have these three nested loops here. I and J are just running over every vertex, and then K is also going through the vertices. So these run through the matrix, and inside of the matrix, we're going to say um, the path to get from I to J is the smaller of either the path to get from I to J when you couldn't go through K as an intermediate, or it's the path to get from I to K plus the path to get from K to J previously. And, and note that you know these two could represent fairly long paths if you wanted. Something I should point out, it is possible to keep parent pointers for these things. It is possible to keep track of what the paths are. The CLRS book has a description of how to do this. I'm not going to cover it in these videos, um, but it, it is possible to do so. Once you've done this for all the vertices, that means that every vertex is now allowed as an intermediate step, and you can't do any better than that, so we return the result that we get. You can just look at this algorithm and see that this algorithm is going to run in v cubed time because it has uh, the three nested loops. So for uh, something that's fairly simple, this is actually a, a rather efficient algorithm for, for doing this. It also works if, in, if you still have negative weight edges. There is a better algorithm though, okay? and this is Johnson's algorithm. Now I had mentioned in one of the earlier videos that you could do an all pairs shortest path just by doing Dijkstra's over and over again. Of course, that has the limitation that Dijkstra's uh, can't do negative weight edges. If you have negative weight edges, well, Floyd Warshall will work for you, but so will Johnson's algorithm. And Johnson's algorithm does a combination of Dijkstra's and Bellman Ford. Uh, it uses a run of Bellman Ford to <coughs> reweight the edges. So it uses the output of Bellman Ford to calculate new weights for the various edges and then it uh, uses Dijkstra's to just multiple times. So it kind of does use Bellman Ford first, find things that aren't negative that will still give you the right answer and then use Dijkstra multiple times. Um, so in that sense, it's a, it's a fairly simple algorithm. The repeated use of Dijkstra's is what gives you your maximum uh, time. Well, technically, so the Bellman Ford was VE, uh, so is re repeated use of Dijkstra's has a term for VE as well, but it's plus the, the V squared log V because you're, you know, that also comes from repeating Dijkstra's. Um, this algorithm is a fair bit more complex, especially in the calculating of, of the weights. Uh, but it's what gives you your optimal time in a sparse graph. You'll notice that VE in a dense graph happens to be V cubed. So if you have a dense graph, the floored Weichel is going to run just as fast as Johnson's algorithm. But if you have a sparse graph, then Johnson's algorithm 
can uh, can provide some additional speed for you.